Hello everyone, quick overview of the Dynamic Mesh 2.0 add-on. Um, I'm going to show you how to get good results and what not to expect. What to expect when using this add-on. Um, I do want to point out that this is not an auto retopology tool. It is a remesher um, for your Dynatopo sculpts and 3D scans. So it basically uh, it reduces the polygons and um, converts the triangles to quads and then applies the settings that you provide so <clears throat> i'm gonna use this model as an example so i'm gonna show you what the new uh, options do so for this icon right here it will basically show your remesh in front of your original it will enable the x-ray and wireframe so that you can see what is going on when you are changing the settings. So if I go ahead and remesh this, you will be able to see a remesh. Now this is a bad, this is a very bad remesh for those looking into um, a cleaner uh, topology. So what I would do is decrease the amount of the the decimate factor I would decrease this to something like it, as long as it is under 0 0.01 you will get better results so something like 0 0.05 and then remesh so this is getting better so the lower you the lower the the parameter the better if I go ahead and put something like 0 0.02 you will see that there is cleaner topology going on here so while you are decreasing the decimate I would suggest increasing subdivision along with it so if you go ahead and remesh this you will see that you get cleaner a cleaner remesh compared to uh, the remesh at, in the beginning so you may get overlapping or or displaced mesh like this so what I would recommend is using the weight paint operator and this will go ahead and allow you to define where you want more density when remeshing so if I go ahead and remesh this, nothing happened because the weight factor is set to zero. But if I go ahead and increase this to something like 50 or 200. Okay, now we're getting a better result. So <clears throat> for something like this, I would recommend using the relax and using the arrows is better because if you go ahead and overdo it it will displace your mesh what this basically does is it uses the displace modifier to spread out your quads evenly um this is good for uh keeping the shape of your original mesh geometry so if i go ahead and increase this or decrease okay oh okay so this what this icon does is it will automatically update your remesh when changing your settings so you don't have to do so yourself so if we go ahead and decrease this This will go ahead and spread out your quads evenly. You can also change the weight factor so that you get a random so that you randomize the result a bit. So go ahead and put something like fifty or two hundred. That's how I had it, one hundred. Okay, that looks better. That looks a lot better than how it was. Now for for the smoothness, this will basically smooth your remesh.
and then for this option right here this will keep your scope mode enabled so that so if you're not in scope mode and you remesh it will jump into scope mode and then you will be able to remesh your object I would recommend turning the eye off so that you can see your your original mesh so when you are sculpting you will be able to remesh and then keep stay in scope mode so it won't exit you out of it this this is one of the uh, requested options so it, it might be helpful for you when sculpting now let's go back to object mode and remesh now for something like I'll go ahead and decrease this no. decrease decrease let's see 500 okay there that looks that looks decent for a remesh you know and this is like I said this is an auto root topology tool now for symmetry, it basically applies a mirror modifier to your uh, remeshed object and uses a new Blender 2.8 bisect option. It is imperfect, but I am looking for alternative methods. And I went ahead and added the options for the axis, the symmetry axis. So I'm gonna set this to zero and like I said, keeping the decimate factor low will give you better results. So if we go ahead and do something like 0 0.01, you will get a very dense remesh and which may give you results that you, you're not looking for. So depending on how dense your mesh already is so right here this is a this is a pretty dense um, model so if I go ahead and subdivide this and then apply the 0 0.05 decimate you will also get a dense remesh so like I said going lower than 0 0.01 will give you better results while increasing the subdivision so 0 0.003 there you go So now for the auto flow tool, I mean cost flow is basically a uh, auto quadri flow has two different solvers. So I main cost flow is uh, one of them. Otherwise, it will just use a default solver for for retopologizing your your mesh. And sharp preserving will basically um, preserve the edges of your model and require manifold input option will um, detect whether your geometry is manifold or not and if it's not it will let you know um, if it can retopologize it so i'm gonna go ahead and leave these off and then leave uh it says quadriflow path not found why is this saying that let's see Quadri flow path not found. Mm -mm. Not sure why it's saying that. We'll go ahead and look for the path. Where is the auto flow folder? 
disappointing. So you look for the where you put the auto flow in the ions folder and click on the quadri flow for Windows users. So if you have any other operating system, just follow the readme file included in the auto flow folder. I'll save. And now you will be able to use quadri flow. I would recommend going low with resolution and then applying the subdivision modifier modifier and, and with a shrink wrap and this will give you better results. So I'm gonna apply these and then go ahead and show in front, and then you will see that you get a bit a good rate topology. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. I will be posting more videos soon, showing you guys some upcoming features. I do plan to add a preset bar on top of Decimate so that you guys don't have to uh, fiddle through the parameter and get things right. It will basically detect your poly count on your model and then recommend settings for for um, for the, that geometry. So so that you can get good remeshing results. And for auto flow, I do plan to add the subdivision and automatic shrink wrap after, uh, um, after retopologizing. So there are more features to come and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do want to apologize if I didn't cover anything you were looking for, but if, um, if you guys want me to go over other stuff, you guys can go ahead and, and put it in the comment section. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you.